Grown Women Talk. I'm Kia. I'm Andrea. And I'm Sheree. Hello, you all. We have our special yes. guest, Sonny, with us, yes. a member of our yes. book club. Yes. And you all also remember her from our makeover show. Yes. You are still looking fabulous. Thank Thank you. Girl, <laughs> rocking that girl. haircut. Yeah. Yes, don't she yes, look good, yes, y'all? Yes. Shout out to Cousin. Who did that yes. fabulous haircut yes. on you? So we are so glad to have you today. But yes. Sonny is our wonderful member of our book club, and we are sharing with you all today our thoughts about becoming yes. by Michelle Obama. And we yes. have so much to say, so we're going to jump right in. Absolutely. Um, like we always like to do you all, I just want to ask first, what stood out to you all about this book? What was memorable? What just really mm, gave you that mm, feeling when you read the book? Jump right in. So I, I'd say for me two things, but I only give one now. And one is she is the girl next door. Yes. She is not the girl who grew up in the Hamptons or right. who had a limo going to school. Yes. She is you. She is you. Yes. She, yes. she is me. Yes. And I could connect with her. I love her. And I, I'm like, oh, my God. Cousin Michelle, that's that's my yeah. cousin. Yeah. That's cousin right. Michelle. Cousin that's Michelle. right. So that would be for me. Absolutely. I love that. Um, well, how about you, Sonny? What do you feel? Um, I think the the biggest thing I took away from the book really was about how connected she was to her community, mm. like how her family mm. just really, you know, grew up in that area. Their yes. struggle, you know, her family struggle in it and in Chicago yes. um, but just how connected she was and how she didn't want to leave even yes. during the presidential uh, debates and all of those good things she still wanted to stay home and focus on Chicago and her family yes mm -hmm. um, I, I, I love the way the book was broken up becoming me mm -hmm. becoming mm -hmm. us and then becoming more and um, what mm -hmm. meant so much to me I, I loved reading about her foundation um, in the Becoming Me portion where she talked about Michelle Robinson before she became Michelle Obama because she talked about what family meant. Talked about that aunt that taught her, that great aunt that taught yes, her piano yeah, lessons. Right, um, right, and right. how they all lived in this one home on different floors and how close quarters it was. Like today you might say, I can't live that close. But it meant so much uh -huh. in their upbringing. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and then what really moved me was the sacrifice of those parents oh my God. for Michelle and her brother Craig. Wow. The, the sacrifice they made. One point in the book, um, she talked about her not telling them about a trip to China. Um, Paris. And, 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 Paris. 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 Sorry, Paris. Yes. Um, and that um, it was so something not to even say because they didn't really she didn't think they had the money but they told her that's not something that you decide about mm -hmm. and that they didn't have any fluff and any extras in life they didn't get to travel one point in here she says they gave their all to their children mm -hmm. and you know um that's a that's a that's an old school thing i mean that is, is just so is. beautiful is. um you know to just cherish those kind of families um, to see that that kind of sacrifice really made her who she is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. For me, this book was a very personal gift mm. that Michelle Obama gave the world. Nice. Yeah. Nice. She makes greatness attainable. Yes. 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 It's yes. almost a guide. Yes. yes. That's on great. What makes her great. Yes. Yes. And that. how she is becoming, and how we can all do it too. I love oh that. Gosh, I love oh that, you all. You all. Um, why do you think that this book was so popular? It was the highest grossing book, the highest selling book in 2018. Why? Why? Why is it so popular? How? Why is it resonating? And I think I think we need to remind viewers too that it just dropped in November. Yes, uh, uh, in November I think late October. 2018. Yes. yes. So let's let's put that out. Why, y'all? Jump right in. What do you think? Well, I think it had a lot to do with you know her. The title of the book, Becoming, it wasn't just about women, but it was about men. It's about young yes. girls and young boys yes. and what our opportunities are to just become whomever that we want to. So it resonated with everybody. And, you know, you just want to know a little bit piece about, you know, Michelle, too. Yes. yes. And see, I think, I think, I, while I hear you and you, you, I'm sure you're probably right, 
I think, I think it's the title, but I think women took that to heart. Mm -hmm. I do. I think because we are, we, you know, not that men aren't, we're lifelong learners. We're always trying to figure it out how to still be ourselves and um, be mothers and wives. And But I, 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 I just think it, the title resonated with women. Mm -hmm. I do. Um, and I think that there has been this sort of resurgence of the importance of sisterhood. Yes. And so I think that that, that has something to do with it. And if I could, one of the things that she says, um, one of the things that she says in the book, she talks about um, her friendships. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that she says, she says, she talked about going home during lunchtime and that kind of thing, and her, her mother would be there. And she said, this for me began a habit that has sustained me for life, keeping a close and high-spirited yes. counsel of girlfriends, a safe harbor of female wisdom mm. and uh, and I know we'll probably talk about but I, I just feel like it spoke to us yes, yes. So. yeah you know as a therapist I process why people think and feel and behave in certain ways and in this uh, political atmosphere mm. I think there was a hunger for this book before the words were even read ah. because of the legacy of this mm. woman because of the integrity of, of her, she and her husband yes. and what they did for our country and for the world, we were hungry for another glimpse yes. mm -hmm. into what they may say or yes. share with us, a nugget of wisdom. Yeah. And so I think that's important to note just because of who this woman is. Yeah. She's an icon in our present day yes. and we feel like we know her. Because yeah. she has allowed us to know their family. Yeah. I think that was the first thing. And then when you look inside, it just moved me to see the pictures of the girls. Yeah. 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 On yeah. the yeah. first lady's airplane. I didn't even know she had a plane. Right. <laughs> but to see them play yes, and, yes. and in yes. the yes. White House and their dogs, just to let us into their hearts was so well. I like that. I think that I did want to see, kind of peer into their life like you're talking about and even into her personal life with her husband and when this, that whole portion about becoming us mm -hmm. and just to hear how beautifully she talks about her husband mm -hmm. and how they came together that it, it you know they didn't get together like you would like mm -hmm. you know it wasn't love at first sight or whatever he was her mentee which we all know but to hear her talk about him and his brilliance and his cool and his swagger and she calls him a unicorn um, that it's almost like too good to be true, but to, to, to hear those words and to know what we see mm -hmm. But to hear this beautiful couple and to see them as an example of a beautiful African-American couple for us today who are a power couple But a very much in love couple mm -hmm. I think is meaningful and to read that I could almost hear her because I didn't have the audiobook You had the audio, <laughs> right? Um, but, but I didn't get to see the pictures. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, the pictures were wonderful. You the picture. If y'all no, have the book, it's a must. <laughs> you gotta get the book, y'all, to so see all this or the audio, whatever. But this is so important. I think it is. It is. Yeah. You know, Kia, you uh, referenced, um, you know, becoming. Uh, talk to, obviously her talking about Michelle Robinson, yes. but and then becoming us and becoming more. And I think that's what the challenge is. How do you not stop at this? Uh, I mean, in your mind, I she is it. accomplished. Yes. She is. I mean, she's the first yes. lady. Before that, she went to Princeton. Yes. When they said she couldn't go, yes. somebody said, yes. mm, I don't think you're that kind of. Right. But it is a challenge to you to become more. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I love that because remember, the girl next door, Cousin Michelle, yes. is saying you are destined to become more. And yes. let me say this to you all. And when she opens up and she talks about this new chapter in her life, it made me think about our reset button. I thought. And I'm how she now yes. is, she talked about how she doesn't have all the um, secret service and all that, the, the masses that they had before, that she can actually do some things herself, sit out on her own porch, make yes. her mm -hmm. own cookies, sandwich, you know, yeah, all right. of that instead, and, to, and, and not have people say, we'll do it, we'll do it, but how precious that was for her. And in her own way, setting the reset and doing some new, Absolutely. different things mm -hmm. in her life, and reminds, it reminded me of how we talk about setting the reset button so for ourselves good. in our lives. So and you know, I just really have grown more and more um, 
to like her more and more because even with her fashion, y'all know I love fashion. Oh. She rocked those gold thigh high boots not too long ago. Yes, and we got on our shoulder sweaters yes. like the <laughs> day. Okay, I Michelle, Michelle. Michelle. Yes. So, uh -huh. Just becoming and changing, evolving in so much. It just was, you know, wonderful for me to read and to see. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to um, go to her her book signing. You did? Book. Yes. Oh. Uh, and that's in, in DC. And it was just amazing just to see all those people there. And oh, she started the show with a um, few people on stage, just some were random people. And just they got up and said what they they were becoming and what oh. they were. And it was just it started the show off like nothing else. And wow. you, no one moved. I mean, literally nobody moved. You didn't get up to go get a drink or to go to the restroom. I love you it. stayed because you wanted to hear it. And she talked about her friendships that she still has from, yes, yes. you know, from back in her elementary school yes, days yes, that yes, she yes, still yes, has yes, connections yes. with those, those women. And I just, I was there with my girlfriend, my best friend. So it really resonated with us that, you know, you still have that friendship and what that means to people. I think that's wonderful. And, um, you know, Andrea and I went to a funeral uh, about two years ago. Two years ago. And um, it was in DC. And in walks the First Lady Michelle Obama. And, you know, it just really paid tribute to who she is as an individual, that's right. That's right. that her friends are her friends. Period. 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 And, you know, she came there with not a lot of pomp and circumstance, but she wanted to be there for her friends. And, Kia, you well. remember, she didn't speak. She, she did, did not speak. This she was did. not about her. And so when she talks about these friendships and how close they are yes. to her and what they mean to her, when we saw that, we thought, oh my goodness. She means it. She's yes. a real she person. Yeah. And and I think that um, you all, we can all give our endorsement of this yes. book. Can yes. I not? Yes. You have 100%. 100%. Go yes. get it. Go yes. get it. If you get haven't it read it, friend. get it. Yes. So please, you all, um, enjoy becoming grow from becoming yes, yes. Um, and um, we can't say anything more about the book. If I could mention this and as you guys I know that many of you are vision boarding please remember to read this and, and if somewhere you find a title that you can clip on your board because you are becoming and remember it's your challenge to become more. I love that and I bet you all as we like to say get ready. We said and go. Bye. Bye. Bye.